further. You said, quote, Americans who own AR-15s and AK-47s will have to sell them to the government, all of them. You know the critics call this confiscation. Are you proposing taking away their guns, and how would this work? Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. members of Ohio Militiamen. Ohio Militiamen. And uh, so what's your goal here today? Our goal here today is to uh, lend our voice in support of Ohio gun owners and Ohioans for concealed carry uh, in standing against the uh, unconstitutional laws that the legislature and the governor are trying to force on us. Absolutely. Beto, he said in, in response to a question if he was going to confiscate guns, he said, hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15s. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Well, that's there. I ran across something because I was cleaning out my emails this morning about the number of licensed hunters in this country. All right. So, why are you at this rally today? Because I'm in support of the Second Amendment, and I think that the governor and the Ohio Senate is trying to. Outlaw our weapons. I'm, yep. I'm here to speak out against red flag gun laws. Right. What do you think about, and I, I'm a Trump supporter, I'll let you know right now, but what do you think about him sort of entertaining that idea? I'm not like him. Yeah. I don't think anybody is. I have a feeling he'll probably back off that pretty quick. But so what do you think about, I, I get, I'm guessing that you saw the Democrat debate a couple nights ago, and uh, did you hear what Beto had said about? I've heard what Beto had to say. I did not. I couldn't stomach to watch. Right, it's tough, yeah. <laughs> That's what my channel is, I watch that so you don't have to. But um, So yeah, he said basically that, hell yeah, we're coming for your AR-15s, which is funny because I think most people already knew that that was the case, mm -hmm. but they're usually much more secretive, deceitful about it. Uh, I mean, what do you think about that? I, I saw it as sort of a threat to the country, really. I think he's got a lot of foolish people if he thinks he's gonna come get a bunch of weapons from a bunch of guns. How, how are you gonna get guns from people without using guns? Right. Because people aren't gonna just give up their rights. Not gonna it's, hand them over. And especially when, you know, the Democrats and the media and everybody seems to be really gunning for our, you know, our freedom of speech and our voice and the Electoral College, looking to just sort of put half the country out of the process at all. Uh, people just do not 
pay attention to what they don't. Why do you think that is? Why do you think it is that so many people sort of so willingly buy into the into the narrative from the media and the Democrats? Uh, you know what I can see it, it, it is just that they are so busy and tied up in their lives that they don't have the ability to comprehend what is happening right, right now. Yeah, they just are going through their everyday life, paying bills, and they don't, right. to them, As long as they keep getting a paycheck, that's all they care about. It's kind of strange, too, because a lot of them hate Trump. You think he's very evil, right. but they, they're willing to give up any self-defense to the government. Someday they're going to wake up, they won't have a paycheck, and they'll be looking for food. So, um, what are you here for today at this at this rally? What, what, is your, what is your goal? What are you supporting? First, the Second Amendment. Yeah. You know, that's, that's just cross the board. Mm -hmm. um, this, okay. Uh, you know, uh, Second Amendment, trying to, you know, get more people to, to know more about it. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need that for sure. You know, and and to get to see people like myself. You know, what I'm saying to know that you know you can carry right. Right. I'm trying to spread that. You know, just really get people to carry right. Right. You know, responsibly. Responsibly. Yeah. Get out of the TV. Yeah. We don't need a bunch of idiots out there. Yeah, we definitely. <laughs> yeah. You know, what I'm saying be smart. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And knowing that you can carry and, and, and protect yourself and your family. Absolutely. You know? And so you, that's my goal. Okay. Well, in, and I talked about the media and how that's, you know, my channel's focus. I see a lot of media here today recording this. I mean, how do you think that they're going to portray this? My guess is that it's going to be at least a little negative. Um, I mean, what, what is your thoughts on that, about how the media has sort of taken a side against the Second Amendment, or seemingly? Do you watch a lot of media? Do you, yeah, I watch a lot of media. Hey, brother. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh, right. oh, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. Are you you're with the uh, Are you guys with the Ohio militia? No. Oh, okay. This here. Nice. Nice. Are you guys veterans or anything? Or? No, sir. Okay. No veterans. I just firm believer in the, the right to bear arms and the right to defend myself. Absolutely. That shall never be infringed. Absolutely. It's right there. It's pretty, right. it's pretty clear. Yeah, it's clear. Clear as day. So. Clear as day. What do you guys, did you guys happen to catch the Democrat debates a couple days ago? No, I, okay. I don't get much into politics. So yeah. this right here. Well, that's good. Because it, it'll bit drive you insane. Yeah, it's a lot of bull crap. You know, yeah. 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 Well, and I don't like what I saw. Right. Uh, this thing where... Uh, I hate when they're trying to pull it a lot out there saying it's racism, right? You know, and it's, and it's not. Uh, I was talking to a gentleman the other night, and I basically said, you know, they were always talking about, you know, this side, this side. There's no color to evil, right? Evil don't have a color. Mm -hmm. It could be this color, it could be that color, it could be any color. Right. It's just evil, right? You know what I'm saying? And that's where we need to cut it, right. you know what I'm saying, and, and get it clear to everybody. Yeah, I mean, you know it's, a natural, it's, it's a natural, natural right. it's a natural right. It's a natural thing. So, it ain't white, it's not black, it's evil. Mm -hmm. And to that point, I'm, that's, I'm guessing, one of the one of the ways the media will probably use to sort of try and discredit this this rally, and, and it's, I'm just guessing, just based on previous behavior. I mean, have you felt any anim animosity towards you or anything like that? No. In general, in this community, uh, not when nobody walk around here like me. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, so we all good here, you know. Right. Good. I mean, I was talking to somebody. With, where you see, feel safe in? Somebody you see a gun or somebody you don't see a gun? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I don't understand. Walmart says no more yeah, bringing guns, and it's like if somebody wants to do something. I don't open carry. I have a CCW, but I don't care where I go. And I do that because I like to inform people and show them. Right. The media instills fear in people that firearms are bad, but hand, firearms in the hands of good life, good people save life, sir. Absolutely. So I, I've opened carried in Walmart for over a year, and all of a sudden now they, you know, they're asking politely to not open carry in their stores, and that's ridiculous. You know, a year I've been carrying there, no problems, almost all positivity, you know. Right. And I'm, like I said, the media tries to instill fear in people, so I try to inform them that they see, hey, this guy comes here every day with a gun on his hip and everyone's fine in fact we're a little bit safer you know yeah. no one's harmed so guns aren't bad it's it's criminal so. right it's, the, it's not like the guns are self-aware they're now, sentient beings so now i don't no, no longer sort support sec, uh, uh walmart or any business that don't support the second amendment so but uh, it's not a safe place to be i mean no, uh because no. it uh it's only going to be the honorable and law-abiding who would follow that exactly. in the first place yep. criminals are going to be oh we got peace of mind no one's armed in there Absolutely. you know what i mean so uh, this is my experience with that i have women 
older women, young women, and see me walk with my open carry and literally ask me to walk through their door. Really? Nice. So, you're giving somebody that extra security. They feel that they're not secure right. somewhere. If they can walk up to you like, please, sir, can you please walk with me to my car? I don't feel safe. Yeah. Yeah, that's, some what, guys that's, walk, that's, what, that's what we need. Absolutely. Yeah. And so people shouldn't feel intimidated by this, by what they see. You know, obviously, you know, if you're not a criminal or law-abiding citizen, you should not be intimidated by open carry or gun owners or you know, vest, anything like that. That should not intimidate you. And that's just the media instilling fear into people that these are bad. You know, absolutely. You don't want to see that in public. And that's like now with Walmart doing that. You know, it's kind of like they're trying to make firearms presence scary to people to the majority to the you know like hey we don't want to see that you know those kill people but obviously if a criminal desires to do something deep down in his heart he's going to do it whether it's with a gun with a vehicle with a knife no matter what it is i mean Absolutely. i can you can throw people off a bridge you don't see them trying to outlaw bridges i mean exactly you know it's just selectively firearms because that's our means of defense and that the first amendment is first second amendment comes right after that that's second amendment is to protect the first amendment freedom right. of speech so and i think everybody can agree the First Amendment, it's under assault, especially right. for exactly. people who yeah. Yeah, like stand against the media or you, the Democrats. You're going to lose your rights to gun just by speaking your mind, you know, speaking freely. And that, that can't happen. That's just ridiculous. Are you guys Trump supporters? I, like I said, I'm not political at all. Okay. So, so you, do you vote or anything? No, sir. Okay. Not even yeah. right. vote. I respect I'm, that. I'm not political at all, but I'm here to tell them, that, you know, I'm, I'm not, I will not comply. So, Good. You know what I mean? So. Did you guys, so uh, when Beto said that at the thing about, hell yeah, we'll come and take your AR-15s, and You're some, threatening uh, to rob legal gun owners. Francis. Are you making sense? Robert Come Francis. Are you just talking about Francis? Yeah, talk about threatening to rob yeah. legal gun owners. Like, yeah. Is that really I, I a smart that idea? Too. Threatening to turn normal, everyday law-abiding people into arch criminals, you know? Exactly. Yeah, that... that that doesn't make no sense. It That's doesn't. Foolishness. It doesn't. Yeah. Well, what do you guys think about Trump kind of, uh, and I, I, he may have backed off of it by now, but he kind of entertained the idea of red flag laws. Yeah, you know what? That's yeah. why I don't like any political party, because look, the left wing and the right wing belong to the same bird.